Hi, Don here from Enzo's, where it's not about the dog. If you're new with us, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we answer your questions. What are we going to talk about today, Don? Today's a good one. Today is talking about markers, okay? Marker, marking, marking, marking. Marking behaviors, marking obedience. Um, if all you ever did was say yes or no, and your dog understood what yes meant and what no meant, um, you could 100% train your dog just off those markers. It just takes you time, okay? But we use markers so that... We use markers and pressures, but we use, we're going to talk today about markers. So the three markers we're going to talk about today are using yes or good. You can use either one of those words. You can use both of those words, but we just want you when you're doing the command to use one of the words. Okay. So if we say market, it, it's yes or market, it, it's good. So yes simply means keep doing what you're doing. Good job. So what it means, keep doing what you're doing though. That is key. Okay. So if your dog sits and you say yes, and then they break the sit. It's not still a yes, okay? So yes or good or marker number one. Second marker, once they understand, is no. And it's not no, I'm mad at you. So it's not no, right? No. <laughs> we're not going to do that here at Enzo's. Uh-huh. At Enzo's, <laughs> we're not, <laughs> we're not going to do that either. At Enzo's, it's simply yes or good. Keep doing what you're doing. No. It's not what I told you to do, okay? That's what I'm implying. Nope, that's not what you were supposed to do. And then the third marker, we've kind of added this over time as watching our clients. Most of the things that we do, we learn from you guys. It's what's working for you and how's it working. And the third marker is a celebratory marker. It is good boy, good job, right? So how I came up with the celebratory marker was lots of times people just sit or their dogs sit, they don't sit. Their dog sits and they're like, good boy. And I'm like, all your dog did was sit. Why are you celebrating with your dog on a sit? Even if it's a puppy, why are you celebrating? (laughs) Like, hmm, that was pretty easy for the dog to do. How many of you, my dog at eight weeks is already sitting. Of course they are. They're dogs. They're brilliant, right? Um, So for me, I want to say yes or good. Simple. Yes or good. No. Simple. And then good boy, good girl, that's the celebratory one, okay? So non-emotional and then adding emotion when we're celebrating. So Karen, I know you did a lot, you use a lot of markers Mm -hmm. coming from the positive only world. Yes. Um, You guys use a lot of verbal and use a lot of inflection. So we're getting away from that. And emotion, Mm -hmm. yeah. Human emotion, oh goodness, yeah. Yeah. Karen um, used to do this sound. And one of the biggest takeaways that I took from... um, learning here at Enzo's how to take that emotion out of the training was talking about that celebration. Yeah. It's huge. So if my dog sits and I say yes, and then he gets up and I say no, and then I walk and I tell him to sit again and he sits and I say yes. I mean, I'm having a hard time getting him to hold his sit. Like say I'm starting to add movement or distance or whatever, when does that celebration come in? Because me, coming from that positive only world, I think there has to be a lot of celebration. Mm -hmm. And there really doesn't. But I now know that if I pick and choose that moment I celebrate, oh my gosh, you stayed in your sit while I walked all the way across the room and I came back, and it's a calm celebration, you are the best dog, yay, good boy. And he remains in his sit. I have marked that behavior in a way that it can't be marked with a cookie or anything else. I have connected with my dog on a level yeah. that is that can't be duplicated, really. No. That dog now understands exactly what I want. Yeah, what and your expectations are. What my ex- and it's an amazing thing to watch. I'm kind of getting goose pimples right now as I talk about it because I've yeah. seen it work. So many times. So, many, so times. many times. Yeah, so what we're really saying is we're taking that emotion out of the yes or good, right? And we're putting the emotion on the celebratory one. So, and maybe it's it's yes because you, you sat or no because you didn't, but you got to use the markers without that emotion so that you don't add emotion to it. You don't add that oh my God, I did something good. And then your dog jumps up out of it, right? Mm -hmm. Some dogs need more emotion added to it. And there we're going to celebrate more with those dogs, Mm -hmm. right? Sure. Um, Especially on like a here command, here Mm -hmm. come command. Sometimes we got to celebrate them in. We got to celebrate them all the way to us. Good job, good job. 
but really understanding markers. So many times I will see a person and their dog's doing a really good job and I'm like, celebrate that. Like, that's really good. Your reactive dog just walked through a room with 50 other dogs. That's a celebration, right? <laughs> yes. That is a huge, we celebrate that a lot here at Enzo's. Um, or don't get mad at your dog when they break something. Like it's not my break, dog. Break a command, not yeah. break a vase. Oh yeah. Sorry. You might. Go ahead. I might get mad if they broke a vase. Actually, I don't have any vases. They, we get vases <laughs> around here. People send us flowers and they break. I'm the worst at breaking things. Um, but no, if they break a command, you're not mad at them for not sitting, right? They didn't. Like, don't be mad. Don't be, let's not be mad anymore. Let's work more for us. Because remember, it's not about the dog. We have to just do more work in teaching the dog what it is we do expect. Um, I know a trainer who all he did for the, he didn't even name his dog for the first six months of her life. He did not give her a name. <coughs> all he did was use markers. And it's a conditional way of training, right? So if your dog sits, you see him across the room sit, you say good. If your dog, um, you know, Whatever they do, you market, market, market. You're constantly market. It's a lot of work, you guys. But I've known people who have done it and, <clears throat> excuse me, totally trained their dogs doing that. So it's a pretty awesome. We at Enzo's, we want you to market. And yes, we use a lot of positive here. So you might market behavior when they're really little. And every time they sit, good, good. And you can, you have to verbally market is my belief. You have to verbally say good or yes. And then no, you have to use those words. And the reason is, is because eventually when your dog is two, three, four, five, ten 10 years old, you don't want to have to keep giving it pets or giving it cookies. cookies every time it sits, right? So you have to associate it with the word. So if my dog sits... We become the reward. Yes, right? You are the tool. <laughs> we, that needs to be our next thing. I'm the tool, right? right? In a good way. I think that would be really good. No? Okay. So... <laughs> On that note, we're going to end <laughs> markers. Thanks for checking in with us and mark away. <laughs> Send your questions in. Um, you can email us however you want to get your questions to us. Send your questions to us. And remember, it's not about the dog. Bye.